Hello, this is MK Fan Forty Nine with another review. Today we have a big review today, and this is the Haslab Deathsaurus. And this thing is huge. It comes in two shipping boxes, so you get two other shipping boxes when you get this item, and then you pull this right out. So here's the front, the side, the back. The other side, this thing is huge. Oh boy. The top and the bottom. Ugh. Now let's get this bad boy open live link. Gotta be careful. Here is the first box right here. Let me open this up. This is the first box for Death Source in robot mode. We're getting him open now. Gonna do all the Get these free too. This thing is heavy, so I'm trying to get all of these straps out. So be patient. I think I can get them free now. Let me see. Got a lot in here. Oh. Make sure I get every. Nope, I missed the spot. All right, Death Source is now free. <clears throat> This is one massive transformer. Just trying to free his mini cons. So we got in the boats. The ambulance. So we got a little smaller feet to these. Next. <clears throat> now that Death Source is free for the moment. So you have his base right here. And you got all of his blast effects. And let's free his blast effects. There's a lot of them. So you get these nice purple blast effects. Able to bring these out having to. Yep. All right, I'm trying to get these. The sword is free. The 
Alright, that's everything. And one more. I got a free on this one. This is Arrow. So let me free this. So I can get the arrow out. It just says arrow. But we're not done yet. We still have more stuff to unbox. So inside of here is the chair and everything else. Let me get this. I can show this off next. So let's first get these undone. So he freed his mace, which is nice. <clears throat> his big cannon, which is awesome. <clears throat> and now for the chair itself. This is his chair. this is the Septicon chair and now I gotta get this last piece out for the stand man hmm. okay so let's figure this out. So this is this stain that's going to go right into the base. Once I figure all of this out, I have to get this in here. All right, let me check the instructions for this. So this is Def Source's chair. So you can actually plug the chair right into here which is nice let's get him posed in his, in his oh wow this is a little bit more I gotta give him more leaf way for him to sit in his chair it's not the best but Almost. Hold on. Almost had it. Give me a second. I've got his feet locked in place again. Give me a second. You gotta get the feet in the right position. And then sit down in his chair correctly. So I'm guessing, let me see, they got all these different pieces. Not sh Let me see the instruction manual, but this is actually a decent figure. So before we open the instruction manual, we'll do basic articulation. You can rotate the head left and right. You get a waist rotation. The wings can flex back and forth. You do get full rotation of the arms. They can go out that far due to transformation. You can you get a 90 degree rotation. You do get bicep swivel. You get hand rotation. You can do the splits. He does have five rotation. He can actually kick that far up. He can kick that far back down. And got to the side. And I gotta say, with everything he comes with, this is awesome. Now let's open the instruction manual and let's show you how big this is. Because this is my first time handling this figure. I'm actually glad that I've backed Deathsaurus. 
So let me move some of the pieces out the way. So here's the instructions, which is wow. And I will figure out how to get these all together shortly. So um, let me give me a step on how to get this all together and I'll be right back. So I forgot to open a box, which contained the rest of everything else. For Jeff, for Jeff Source, let me get this open real fast. Get all this. This is a free all these extra pieces. This might be his chest plate, but I have that freed. Let me get this freed right here. His crest. Let me get his breast plate and piece to his. Okay. So let's go ahead and install these little pieces so I can now put this on depth source. So you want to attach them like that for the right. Same for that one. And I believe this goes up. This goes right to its front. So you want to go ahead and take this. And go ahead and attach it in. There's Def Source that way, having that all in place. Another one of his breastplates. You can unfold it like this. Unfold that. Unfold the tail. His guns up front. Oh, let's get the feet done right. Unpeg the feet, come to the bottom, and un let me get the uh -huh. unpeg the feet, and there you have one of his breastplates, which is nice. Let me see what the name of this one is. Ah. They give me the names of the breastplates. This thing is huge. So they don't give you a name for the, but this is also his shield. So you can actually come in and take this piece right here. There is a slot right here in the middle. And you want to come and take this piece, plug it into there. So that deaf source can hold his shields. Let me get this in place, right? It's got to be a little tricky to get it in place. And his sword, which is nice. I can get the sword in place. There he's holding a sword. This is awesome. And then you can take. Let's say notice has to go. Let me see. This is gonna go into. I believe this goes into the top. Let's see. 
Okay, so it's simple. Okay. So you want to take the feet that he comes with. And you want to plug it into the top of here. So let me show you. Hold on. His feet are very fragile, unfortunately. This does happen. So you'll be very careful with the feet. This is trying to get everything in place. And there you can have the breast former right here on the top, which is awesome. You can position to the top of like that. And for him to hold his cannon, you can actually unfold this like this. And if you want him to hold it, you can take out the sword. I well, didn't want to detach the breastplate. Be patient. So I got to straighten this out. And close it around the fist. And this is an awesome cannon. He also comes with a mace. And here's the mace he comes with. So I got to give them credit. They did a great job. He does have his arrow, and I know the breastplate can form the arrow. So now that I can take this apart. So let's transform the breastplate. I'm just trying to get everything together since I do I have not transformed this yet. So I'm trying to get the tail out, making sure I get the feet out, because there are four feet. Get I gotta say, I'm still learning the transformation for this. I don't want to break my deaf source pieces. There we go. I got one out. And I just got to get the other piece out. I said they did it so I tricky to get all of these pieces out in time. And I think I'm going to make sure I got this right because I have not transformed this yet. For his breastplates. Let me see. Okay, so I did transform him right, and he has a third mode, and that's getting him in the the bow and arrow mode. So now we have to push all of these back in place again. So there are hinge joints on the sides for our depths for his for the tiger breastplate, which is this right here. 
you want to fold this in. Go ahead from the back. So you're going to fold the legs back in to where it was before. So fold the legs back in. Then come back and fold in that. And you want to come and take this so you can actually have him. I had to get this back into the section like that. And then you can hold it like a bow and arrow. Let me see if I got this right. Gotta have this. I know this is make sure that the image right. This is tricky. Okay. So they want you to <clears throat> to fold in the arms. Let me get the arm opened up. Let me see how they're doing this. I have not transformed this yet. So you want to hold this up. And let me see. And let's see, I gotta pull this. These pieces on the side are very fragile. They come off very easily. And I'm just trying to figure out how they want you to attach it. See, the instructions aren't that clear on how to attach the weapon. Let me see. So that's the eagle chest. Hold on. This is the eagle chest up top here. Your tiger chest. So they're same as a piece. Mm. Oh, man. Did not make this clear. Let me get back to you on this. Hold on. So here he is holding the bow and arrow mode of Death Source. And I know my victory saber is still in the vehicle mode in a second. I'm going to show that off shortly. So here that is. And next, we'll get down the transformation. Here is Death Source in his seat. To get him in here, you want to make sure that the back piece of this, you want to unclip the legs down here. After that, and fold the arm so it's like that. And take this. We'll go into this slot right here. And there you have Def Sar sitting on his throne. Gotta say this is actually one of the best figures so far. And now we can get oh, before that, he does come with blast effects. He comes with let me get these installed correctly. These nice purple blast effects. And he does come with two of these. So you get the sing into a nice effect like that. Just 
just like that. Or if you want to do two separate pieces. So you can make two different pieces. So there you have that. First two pieces. He does have his two little micro changers. And let's Okay, so this is Pippo right here, and he's easy. It's a nice police car. Please vanish to say. So you can go ahead and separate. Let me see. Yep, is it done? Yep, so come to the bottom, separate the legs. Go ahead and flip out the feet at the bottom. Then you want to move the arms if you can. You got to get the arms up. And you come down and like that. And there you go for Pippo. And for Boulder, like that. Kind of fold that to the back. Unfold the legs like that, and there you have Boda. There are limited articulation for how they are. You, yeah, the arms and joints come off very easily, so you can move the legs like that for about 90 degrees. Arms can just go up and down, side to side, no neck rotation, no waist swivel. For that and now let's get him transformed to get him ready for his robot is beast mode or it's kai just ch kaiju chicken mode first things first go ahead and bring up the head lock that in place bring this bring that down on that hinge so now you have that like that Go ahead and bring out the breastplates, tiger plate like that. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and bring up these panels, just like that, to the back. Go ahead and open the panels, fold in the feet spurs, come to the front, open up. You want to go ahead and fold these in. But not all the way, just go and get that ready. And then you want to come to the side, bring down the arms. You want to go ahead and fold in the arms and bring down the chicken legs. And these are going to rotate down in a second. When you want to go ahead and fold in the wing like this. Fold it out. Go ahead and bring that down. Open up the panel on the front. Bring that down. Now go ahead and next, you're going to come to the front. Open up these panels here on the front, which is covering his chicken arms. Go ahead and put the chicken arms right here on the side. You want to rotate this so this can fold into here. Same for this. These will sit up front just like that. Let's go ahead and unfold the chicken arms. 
like that. Then go ahead and try to rope get the waist like that. So you want to fold these in. You may need to open up that pan on the front. Bring those down like that. Because it is a little tricky to get these in place. Same for this one. You want to rotate it. So it comes down. On that, then you want to come to the tail. You're going to fold this in just like this. And this will become... Let me put this down. Like this. you got to get this in just right so you can actually fold this in to form the tail. There are two clips that are going to go right in between here for the tail just like this. And once you get the tail in, go ahead and reattach the breastplate because I know it just falls off easy. Hold on. Yeah, that tends to happen with this, unfortunately. Let me fix the legs again. That happens with my copy. Go ahead and attach the breastplate again to the back. Like that. And there you have the Kaiju Chicken Mode ready to go. I have to say, I'm really impressed with this mode. It is simple to transform into this mode, which is nice. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and take that and put the blast effect in. And here is how he looks. <clears throat> Got to get him posed right so he'll stand for me. Get him to stand. And here he is next to Victory Saber with the upgrades. If I can get a better picture, because these are are huge. There's your Victory Saber. And now to turn him before we also we're gonna also try to get him on his stand. So go ahead and remove the Death Source chair. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this on here. I know this can hold it. So let me see something. Okay. There you have the remove depth source to the side. So you have that. And then you want to, let me see. Let me see, there is a port. Let's see. So there is a port on the front. Let me see where he's going to attach. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out how do you attach. Let me, let me check the instructions on how to attach this.
Let me mark that angle. Understand this. So I got him on here. It wasn't easy. I'm hoping DNA Designs can do some fixes with the plates since they come off so easily. So when you can look, my chest plate comes off very easily. For death source for some reason. There we go. Let me get this down. He's all set to go for that one. And he does have, let me see how to put this other weapon in place. His kaiju weapon. But you can easily, you're going to have to rotate the wings. Fold that out like that. There's a tab up here on the top. And it can go into one of the slots right here. And you can actually push, can fit one of the blast effects. So if you wanted to have it like that, which is nice. Or... If you want to put it this way, then it looks like it can't handle the blaster, so it can't go the other way, unfortunately. Mm. So I will say, I do like the figure. It just has its issues. With holding a different plate. Because it likes to come off very easily. And now let's take this off of here. And like I say, you can do wrote you can do have a five swivel when he's in kaiju chicken mode, which is nice. You can go backwards, nine degrees. The wings can articulate left and right, go backwards and forwards. And I know this is getting ready to come off again. You don't get no waist rotation. The little chicken arms can go up. Down and a three do a, almost you can do a 360. For the chicken arms, the head can go up and down, side to side. Um, you don't really have no motion for the tail, unfortunately. And now we'll get back into transformation and it's back to his robot mode. To get Def Source transformed back into his robot mode, go ahead and detach the tail first. Go ahead and unhinge the arms here. You remove the, the brush plate for now. Fold in the arms. Remove the blast effects. Open this piece up top. Close the mouth. Bring that back here. Go ahead and bring the head back out. Unpeg these panels in the front. Because they're going to rotate back in. I'm going to rotate it. So this will go right into here. Right. 
and do the same for this one. Then you want to come to the legs. Actually, not yet. Go ahead and bring the wings to the back like that. For both sides. Come to the arms. Rotate the arms up. And so they click into place. Rotate the arms down. Go ahead and open up these panels. Bring them back up. And open them up to the back. Come to the front. Open these up. Bring these up forward. Go ahead and bring this back down. Fold that panel down like that. Come to the back of the plates. Then you want to open up the panel on the arms. And you're going to fold that panel back into place. Same thing for this one. You go ahead and bring this in. This is going to collapse. Once you bring the fist out, this will collapse in like that. Go ahead and bring the head so the, he the chicken head goes in the back. Take the breastplate for the tiger plate. Bring that down. And it'll go right into the front. And there you have Death Source back in his robot mode. Now for comparison. Let's see if I can get this incorrectly. Here is Death Source next to Victory Saver. And I gotta say they're both beefy figures. I definitely would recommend Death Source. If you were able to get him, has lab him. Otherwise, you have to pay aftermarket prices. But this is a definite must to own. And hopefully, they do come out with upgrade kits to upgrade Death Source. I did misplace Victory Saber's um, upgraded um, Saber. But definitely, he's worth it. So, please like the video. Please comment the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And for any videos and shorts you may have missed, this is MKFan49 signing out.